All right, you got names wrong, honey. I know, I'm sorry. Look, I don't know whether you're familiar with Japan, okay? <laughs> but we'll start at Japan thing here so quickly, unless you get it together, okay. right? Okay, yes. This is Tommy goddamn Jonigan, all right? He's a powder keg. At any moment, he's ready to go off. He explodes with anger. Okay. Long fuse, but once it blows... That's true. Trouble. Are you a fighter? You a guy who's been in quite a few fights? Not quite a few fights. I've had a lot of verbal altercations. Uh -huh. I just think people don't want to fight, including myself, but I'd say more than I should in real life constantly. Uh, where, where do you do this? In cars? Uh, definitely in my car. And then also um, anywhere? Mm -hmm. Anywhere that I feel like someone's being rude or... You don't put up with rudeness at all? No. Zero. It's, which is really hard to do in this city. In any city, really. I do a lot of, uh, in this city, I do a lot of, hit! <laughs> just when someone's walking towards me, and they're not looking up, I just give them a loud, hit! <laughs> and it's, they look up. I, I've, I've lived here for 14 years, and I've never felt the need to go, hit! <laughs> hit! I just they don't. I I'm I'm walking in a straight line. Yeah. And if you're not, if you're looking up, we'll. But if you're looking down, then you're in my path, and you're going to move. I'm not going to move. So that's what happens to me. <laughs> well, if they're on their smartphone, you live a regimented life for a comedian. It's very regimented. I don't like to. Yeah, I yeah. got a thing. I got to be on this. You're not going to waste <clears throat> steps. You're not going to walk around anything. Yeah, I figured it out like a chess game. I yeah. look way ahead. I know where I'm going. <laughs> and you're also one of the few humans I know with your own built-in horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh, eh, what's going on over there? Eh, eh. Yeah. That's a strange... Strange it's just a just a no, there's not enough time to get words out. You just gotta give him a honk. Does it work? People yeah, it respond? works. They look up. Work. Look. Look how happy he is. Look how he's he, sound he's body here, and mind. He? He's here, isn't he? Uh, I have. Uh, I, I I generally have to. I, call, I have to call my girlfriend every once in a while and tell her I, had, I did like a crazy. Th there was a girl that cut me off in L.A. the other day. It didn't even cut me off, but almost hit me, and I just I. Even though I use my mouth horn, I rarely use my car horn. <laughs> I rarely use my car horn. He's now comfortable thinking of it as a mouth uh, horn. <laughs> so I tooted my horn, just uh -huh. a small honk, because she was about to hit me. And then she stuck her hand out and flipped me off and then just held it out there <laughs> and then started moving her finger around like a waving right. dance. And as soon as she put her hand out the window and flipped me off, my, and I'm not even exaggerating, my immediate thought, because I have a lease, I don't own yeah. this car, I was going to just hit her bumper. <laughs> and then I was like, we well, can't do that. So I have a metal coffee tin, like thing, coffee thermos, and I was going to throw it at her car and see what happened. Those were the first two things, and yeah. I immediately ruled them out. But I passed her on the right in kind of that angry pass. And in one motion, as I'm passing her, I realize she has her window down, and I have one of those, uh, like a cup that you'd get from McDonald's with the lid on it, but mm. it's a chocolate protein shake, and I just threw it in her <laughs> no. car. Jesus Christ. Just chucked it in her yeah. car, and then turned into my house, because I was home. I just went home <laughs> right after. <laughs> so this is all in your neighborhood, this took within, place? Within... With within a, a half a block of my house, I passed her on the right and then got in front of her and went home. Now here's the downside: you don't know where she lives. She could live three doors down. Yeah, yeah. And now you've insulted her with a chocolate shake. There's a shake coming through your window. The shake in the next it, couple it, days. it exploded before it got out of my because it got on my mirror. So she got all of it. Yeah. And yes, I mean she may live right down the street, but I I'm the guy that threw a protein shake in her car. She doesn't want to talk. You don't want to talk to that person anymore. Well, she could be married. And yeah, yeah. You, and and I, that's I'm a guy. I'm a man of consequences. Yeah. I feel like you did something. Now I just have to always feel like I'm a one up. I have right. to be one up or even. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm one up on you now. And if your husband comes and evens it by beating me up, I guess that's that's my consequence. See, we were talking about this yesterday with white men. White men. We want to lead and we want to set law and order. And I don't know whether you could talk about anyone else on the planet. Like if any of us were in a uh, a plane crash and you looked around, the white guys would be gone. Here's what we need to do. Yeah, let's move this over here. And the Asians are chicaning or whatever. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> everyone just would be looking towards the white guy. And I'm not saying the white guys are better at leading. 
we just want to lead. We know we want yeah. to lead. And that's why Obama has Fox News just crazy because they know this isn't the way it's supposed to work. Uh, if I I have to feel like even when I let someone go in traffic, I have a th- I'm like you're there because I let you. Now that you're in you front of like me, you gave I've that. allowed you to yes. be there though. I'm leading yes. from behind now. This is almost godlike. You almost I live god-like. my life like that. Yeah. I just it I can never have someone just walking around and there's a there's too many examples of this where like I should have at some point it's going to come back on me. Right. At some point also when I get enough money, I will just hit someone because I'm so close to it now and I don't have a lot of money, yeah. that once the money rolls in and that checks the box off, that's the last box <laughs> waiting to be checked. So <laughs> your meltdowns are actually pre-planned. You know what I mean? Like No, they're not. You, they're you, in the moment. But 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 you now say, I'm the type of person yeah. that I can make a $400,000 yeah. meltdown. Well, the thing <laughs> is, is their thought and then a second or two of what will happen and then... Then I do it. Like, right. uh, I was at a bar, I was at a strip club, and I was last call and I ordered a beer, and the woman goes, I'm only doing shots. And I go, I don't want a shot, I'd like a beer. I'm being very polite. And she goes, I'm only doing shots, are you having a shot? And I said, I'd like a beer. And she goes, ugh! And then I just took a full glass and tumped oh, wow. it over on her bar. And walked away. <laughs> So I didn't get a beer, not a big deal. She has to clean up a glass, not a huge deal, but I feel like I'm winning. This is the f- first reel of Falling Down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking prequel, Young Michael Douglas, <laughs> who will eventually go back to his home and get an automatic rifle and go crazy. You carry a briefcase around with an orange in it. Yeah. Good movie, though. Yeah, it's a great movie. And for some reason, we cheer for him. We're like, yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. Light up that McDonald's or whatever it was. Yeah, well, shoot the white supremacists (laughs) and then the black pimp. Kill Duvall, too. Kill Duvall. Yeah. The movie holds up. It's almost like he's (laughs) turning around and looking going, you hate these people, too, right? You hate these people too. You're just like me. But so you're ready to, and you say you don't fight much. No, people, uh, people don't want to fight. It's not. A, I don't think that we want to do that. So you I think do in these New things. York they do though. Really? Yeah. I think the most of you just in your bones. I think we've gotten away from it so much that people don't want to do it. I don't know whether you watch the news. But they yeah, stab yeah. and they shoot. Stab and shoot. Yeah. There was the closest to sh- I should have come was uh, we're at a place, a bar that had a parking lot and it was valet. But then around the back you could park, and we did we parked and we come back and the valet guy was uh, such a dick. He goes, he was, he's yelling at us because we parked and he's like, I park, I'm the valet, blah blah blah. So uh, such a dick and. With you know, without going to how, but it like was a big deal. We had to, he had to take the car and blah blah. Uh, and then we go in and we have some drinks for a little while, and then we leave. And I just tip over the thing that holds the valet keys. <laughs> Every one of these stories has the same kind of ending. <laughs> That I've done something physically unacceptable. It's I mean, not good. You, you but just, in my mind, I'm yes. like, you know what? It It's not the end of the world. The, what's going to happen, I knew when I did it, is now all of the keys are just in, in a, just oh, off the hooks. Yeah, he has no ter- idea what car terrible. goes to what it's, key it's now. terrible for him. But do you lose your shit like this with your wife or your no, girlfriend? No, never. With, she never does anything rude or disrespectful. And uh, even if she did, I wouldn't. And my yeah. uh, my kid has no respect. She's 20 months old. She doesn't know what that means yet. Uh, so never, it never has come close to... It's only strangers. Strangers is what... Never even... Like, I've gotten, you know, into... Uh, with family members like that, yeah. an argument where you yell back and forth. Yeah. But I think that my problem is with a stranger is I don't have time to say, here's where you're wrong. Okay. I'd like to tell you, I just want you to know what you've done wrong or that you've done something wrong. I just want you to know there's like 300 million handguns in this country (laughs) and we never know who has one. And one of these people is going to have a one-upmanship like you do. Yeah, Like I've got to shoot him just as he gets away. All right, Fez, did you uh, go and check on the... Yeah, I took the mic flags to Michelle, mm-hmm. who was devastated. 
Mm -hmm. and handed me a bunch more and said, do you just want to give them away as prizes then? She was, and then I had to explain to her, she goes, she thought she had messed them up. Yeah. And I explained to her, I go, no, you weren't even on this project. Did you take her down and show her? See, the thing is, those mics in that studio are different from every other mic because we came over from XM. Yeah. So they just don't work with those mics. I explained why they don't work to her, but yeah. with the there's five engineers in there right now. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. You, but you went over and checked it against those mics. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and I even went to one of the five engineers and said, "Hey, how's this work?" And he said it doesn't. Why don't you give Tommy a nice plug here? He's a great guy, and he's making me laugh my ass off today. The only thing that would be better if David Allen Greer was in here <laughs> taking this, taking this falling down comedy. 